Good day, Wonder Nurses. I'm Nurse Anne. Today, I will discuss about the steps on how to put on and take off personal protective equipment based on the World Health Organization. I thought that I should discuss this, especially this time of pandemic, because this is very important and maybe this will also be part of the board exam. So, let's start! Steps to put on personal protective equipment First, remove all personal items like gadgets, pens, jewelry, watch, cellular phones, etc. Second, put on the scrub suit and rubber boots in the changing room. If boots are not available, use closed shoes and shoe covers. Third, go to the clean area, then perform visual inspection of the PPE set to make sure it is the correct size and the quality is appropriate. Fourth, execute the procedure with the guidance and supervision of a trained colleague. Fifth, perform hand hygiene. Sixth, put on the first pair of nitrile examination gloves. Seven, put on the coverall. Eight, put on the face mask. Nine, Put on the face shield or goggles. Next is to put on the head and neck cover. This is the surgical bonnet or hood covering the neck and sides of the head. 11. Put on the disposable waterproof apron. If not available, use a heavy-duty reusable waterproof apron. Lastly, Put on the second pair of gloves over the cuff. Before we proceed to the next topic, which is the correct sequence and proper removal of the PPE, kindly click the subscribe button. I really appreciate your support. Let's continue. Steps to take off personal protective equipment. First, Always remove the PPE with the guidance and supervision of a trained colleague. Ensure that the infectious waste containers are available in the doffing area for safe disposal of the PPE. Separate containers should also be available for the reusable items. Second, perform hand hygiene on glove hands. Third, Remove the apron by leaning forward and prevent the contamination of your hands by not touching the front part. Untie the back and roll the apron forward. Fourth, perform hand hygiene on glove hands. Fifth, remove the head and neck cover to prevent contamination of your face. Start from the bottom of the hood in the back and rolling from back to front and from inside to outside. Then dispose it safely. 6. Perform hand hygiene on gloved hands. 7. Remove the cover all and outer pair of gloves. Then dispose it safely. 8. Perform hand hygiene on gloved hands. 9. Remove the eye protection like face shield or goggles by pulling the string from behind the head then dispose it safely. 10. Perform hand hygiene on gloved hands. 11. Remove the mask from behind the head and dispose it safely. 12. Perform hand hygiene on gloved hands. 
13. Remove rubber boots or overshoes without touching them. If the same boots are to be used outside the high-risk zone, keep them on, but clean and decontaminate it properly before leaving the doffing area. 14. Perform hand hygiene on gloved hands. 15. Remove gloves carefully and dispose it safely. Lastly, perform hand hygiene. Finally, I want to share with you the photos taken from the WHO for you to visualize the steps that I discuss. Steps to put on personal protective equipment including coverall. Next is the steps to take off personal protective equipment including coverall. Thank you for listening. I hope you learn and understand something. If you want more videos, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.